Okay, this is just a quick video where what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to uh, create like a, an image for a virtual machine. I'm using Cremu for this. A uh, Windows 10 LTSB that you can use the trial for 90 days and then when it's run out, you can then basically just um, use the same image you created before and just run it for another 90 days again so you can just keep on trying it. So basically first thing you have to do is you have to get a download of the Windows 10 LTSB. So if you do a search for Windows 10 LTSB and you just select download and then basically you go over it says Windows 10 Enterprise. And what you basically have to do is you've got to fill out some text and then it allows you to um to, to download the uh the basic the ISO. So I've I've already done that. So basically first thing I want to do is create um an image that I'm going to be putting the um, the install onto. And then next thing, I'm just going to run the installer. Alright, so just run that. Okay, so we just want the install windows. And just install that. Uh, so what I've done is I've I've put the image onto like a RAID zero SSD, and I'm reading the DVD from a um, from memory or a RAM well from a RAM disk basically. So this is just so things will go a little bit quicker. Okay, alright, yeah, so that's it. So, uh, zero SSD certainly comes in handy. So you have to sit around waiting forever. Okay, so just restarting now. So now it's just booting up for the first time. And so when it boots up the first time, of course, if you let it get to the desktop, it's going to connect to the internet. 
and then um, then activate. And of course, once it's activated, if you save the image then, then that means after 90 days, the image would have just expired by itself. Right, so what you basically do then is now when we're here, if you, on the keyboard, if you just hold down Shift and then F10, it brings up a command prompt, and then at the command prompt, you just type shut down forward slash S. And then basically just wait. Because there's no desktop, it can't give you that prompt it normally gives you. So it just suddenly disappears without even telling you. Uh, but basically what that means is now this particular file, uh, this QCAL file that I've created, so sorry, that is the image of Windows 10. Uh, what you do is you now just want to save this. So what I actually do is I just um, zip it up just for temporary, you know, just for some way to store it. Right, so that's now just compressing. And what I do is I'll just cut this bit so it'll just be at the end. Just it'll just skip to the end. Okay, so that's been squashed down from 7.3 gigs to about 2.6 something gigs. So, well, 7.4 almost. So what you basically do is keep the 7-zip file around. And so when it, when you want to use the actual um, Windows 10 in your emulator, you just run the normal one and then once the 90 days up, all you do is unzip this one, which I stopped during the installation, and then basically um, use that one again. So now if I restart the emulator, so then the window starts up again. And we're back to the getting started again. So basically, every time you come here, you'll get this. Um, sorry, if, every time you unzip that file, you'll end up at this screen, and and then basically you just continue from here. Um, and so this is just. Let's see, you have to turn all this off because if you don't, so all this is just basically spy stuff. Everything is related to them spying on you. Of course, they'll still, um, 
be able to get information about you, but why have why why make it easy for them? Might as well make the spying a bit harder. And the smart screens are okay, but probably. All right. So, so once you've gone past all the spying behind. It then just goes briefly to setting this up. Of course, it makes you think that you you have to join. You, you can't just log in normally. So just click the join the local, and then next, and it just lets you put in a normal user. So of course, this time they don't try and force you into signing up with a Microsoft account. At least, anyway, so it's a bit easier on this on this edition. Sure, that really is the case. Alright, and that's it. So, you see straight away, it tells it's valid for 90 days. So, if you'd got here and then tried to save the image now, then basically that image would only last for 90 days. Because obviously, it managed to, to sneak in the activation through your internet while it was busy doing something else. It didn't give you a chance to stop it. Alright, so that's that for now, and um, so I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.